Morning everybody. Tax Sling here. So I haven't made any videos for a while. I've been in uh, another part of the world. Uh, this morning we're doing a unboxing of a Harrington and Richard M1 Grand that uh, we just got from CMP. Box just showed up today. Uh, let's just get started and get this thing opened up. I believe it took about four months for this to show up because it was ordered online. Uh, uh, let's take a look here. And, uh, as you can see, it comes in a very, very nice box. CMP sends. Flip this over for a minute. Uh, CMP sends a pretty nice uh, box with these nowadays. They used to just send them in a uh, cardboard box. And uh, let's get this thing opened. And let's see what they sent us. And ah, there it is. It's a uh, special service. HRA. Uh, let's see. Let's pull the uh, chamber tag out of there. This don't look too bad. It's got uh, new. It's got new wood on it. This is. This is pretty nice here. Didn't do too bad on this one. This cost about a thousand dollars. Uh, it's in the 4 million range for H&R Grands. I have to look that up later in one of my later videos on this. Um, if you look under the barrel right here, you can see it was made in April of 1954. At least the barrel was. Uh, you can always check the uh, action and see about the time when it was made. Uh, these rifles, from what my understanding, uh, spent the last 50 years in a warehouse somewhere, unstocked. They were finished rifles, but they were not stocked. And uh, CMP got a hold of them and uh, started putting, this is the new style stock on it. As you can see, it's got, the, uh, it's got a newer butt plate on it. It's uh, not all beat up and all that, but uh, yeah, these are uh, virtually brand new M1 Garands. Let's close it up here. And uh, see, it was made in April of 1954. At least the barrel was. Uh, you can always check the uh, action and see about the time when it was made. The tag that comes on your uh, front front sling right here, uh, these come on every single new Garand that come or any Garand that comes off of uh, the CMP. You have a one, uh, one plus muzzle reading and a throat reading of two plus on the Harrington and Richardson Garands. That is built to spec. Those are what they were built to have. These are uh, Cold War M1 Garands. These were uh, made because uh, they were afraid during the Cold War that Springfield might get nuked. So they made, uh, they had other contractors like IHC or International Harvester and uh, Harrington and Richard make M1 Garands because they're afraid if Springfield went down they wouldn't have uh, they wouldn't have anybody to build them rifles anymore. Now what's interesting about this rifle is compared to other Garands, as you can still see the machining marks all over this rifle. This rifle is practically brand new as it was made in the mid 1950s. Now I'm going to bring out an International Harvester Garand right here and this rifle has actually been issued to the United States Arsenal. Uh, as you can see, this rifle has a lot more wear. Uh, you can see 
the blue starting to come off of the uh, stainless here. It's uh, this this is actually a reburled M1 Garand. The barrel that it originally had in it uh, had a lot of uh, erosion on it. It wasn't too good of a shooter. You weren't going to do too well. We weren't doing too well at matches with this rifle. It's uh, it's got the original stock on it, from what we understand. It still has uh, has cartouches here from the factory. If you look at this new Harrington and Richardson, it's going to have the CMP cartouche right here. It's not uh, as easy to see on the camera, I'm guessing. But uh, it's got the CMP. Let me turn around here. It's got the CMP cartouche. You can see the eagle there and the uh, CMP. So this is a brand new rifle right here. Um, we're planning on making uh, at least three videos with this grand right here. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email or put it in the... Uh... Okay, one thing I want to cover with uh, M1 Grands is uh, the M1 thumb. I haven't seen too many videos that uh, covered that, so I'm going to kind of go into it because this happened to me when uh, I was a little younger. The uh, M1 Garand, to drop the bolt, you need to press down on the cartridge follower and let the bolt slide forward. Now what can happen if you if you don't uh, arrest this charging handle while you're doing it, this will the bolt will come forward and it will smash your finger straight into there, your thumb, whatever you got in there, and it will mess you up. Another thing about the M1 Garand is when you're shooting it, you have to keep your hands and your or excuse me your fingers free of this guide rod right here. If you look at the guide rod, every time you fire. So it comes back and it comes forward. Now, if you got your fingers there, that's going to mess you up. In World War II, Korea era, people getting their fingers stuck in there because that is—it's not very—it's not a very forgiving weapon system. We'll put it that way. If you get your fingers in the way of it, and uh, let's go. Yeah, right here. Oh, wow, what's this? America's Rifle, the M1 Garand's Collector Edition. I haven't seen this yet. That's pretty interesting. Um, guessing this goes over its uh, history. You'll we'll have, have to do some more looking into this. Uh, right here we got the goodie bag that comes with it. Uh, they send you a clip. That's uh, what you need to shoot this uh, rifle semi-auto. Uh, this one doesn't look too bad. It definitely looks original like it was sitting somewhere for a long time. But there's that. Um, it's got some donation sheets here from the CMP. Um, let's see what else. Normally these come with a little target, but I'm guessing this one doesn't have this. If you're brand new to the M1 Garand, you might want to read this before you go out and start shooting it right away. This has got all the info you need to safely shoot your M1 Garand. Alright, and that'll about do it for our Harrington and Richardson M1 Garand unboxing. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Uh, if you want to see the other videos that are going to be coming out uh, on gunsmithing and shooting, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.